Alright, welcome back. And uh, due to our last video where we uh, edited the INI file, we are ready to start making some scripts for the our game. So let's start off by adding a few folders inside of our project. Uh, classes is where we'll be adding our classes. And for example, we're going to have another folder called meshes. And uh, we're not going to use that right now. So what we're going to focus on is the classes. We're going to create a class and show you how to make a few variables, how to set default values, and open up the variables to be seen inside of the UDK editor. So if we add new item, do an Unreal script file, we're going to call it basic actor. And now we have a, uh, a setup. So the structure goes class. This name here, basic actor, must be equivalent to this name, basic actor. If it changes, you'll have errors. It extends, and we're going to extend actor instead of object. And right now, we can't place that actor. I will uh, show I will show you uh, what we need to do to place the actor. But first, I'll show you what it looks like when we don't. If I compile this right now, I'm going to pause the video and open up the editor and show you what has happened. All right, I'm back, and the uh, it's set up now. So right now, you don't see much. If you turn off the show categories, and you turn off placeable classes only, if we go down, we see our basic actor is right there. The one we just created, it's in the engine, and it's there, but it's not placeable. So if we jump, we we've got to close out of the editor now, so that we can when we build our changes will be made. So close the editor, and type in placeable right here. That's all you have to do to make this actor placeable. So uh, let's add a few variables in here. Variables start with var and then the data type. So it's a little bit different from most programming languages, but it is closely related to the C syntax. So if we do var int, and let's call it number, and let's do var string, and call it name, uh, not name, name is a keyword, we can't use that. Let's call it word. And now in default properties, we can set those two. We can call number, and set it equal to, let's say nine. We can also call word, and set it equal to Hello, Danielle. So if I compile this right now, you will not see it in the editor. So I will pause, compile, and show you. So now you can see that I have the editor and everything compiled. If I turn off show categories, we can see now that our basic actor is placeable. That's why it's uh, in bold. So if we can pick it and put it inside the viewport. But you see there's no mesh because we haven't assigned meshes. That's for another time. If we opened our properties by pressing F4, you'll notice that we can't see the variables that we just need. Uh, I'm not going to open all these lists. Just know it's not anywhere in there. So if we close out of uh, the UDK editor, you will uh, expose those variables inside uh, of it by simply putting parentheses after the end of var here. Um, so I will compile and be right back. Alright, so now I've uh, compiled and opened the editor. We can get our, grab our basic actor and drop it back into our scene, our viewport. If we press F4 to see properties, you'll see that there's a basic actor uh, field here at the top that we can drop down and we see our number here, 9, and our word, hello Danielle. We can also customize it so it doesn't say basic actor, it just grabs the name of our class um, if we don't specify a name. And to specify a name, all we have to do is inside of these brackets, we can, we can say a name. So we can say um, basic vars instead of basic actor, it'll say basic vars. Ignore the red squiggly lines on this part. It's wrong, and I'm right. So I'm going to compile and open the editor, and uh, I'll be right back. So uh, I was slightly wrong. What we need to do is not put spaces inside of our our uh, our parentheses. I don't know what I was thinking. Uh, it'll automatically put the space inside of the editor. So uh, 
Now I will be right back. All right, so this is the final part of our tutorial. If we unclick show categories, grab our basic actor, drop it into the viewport, press F4 for properties, you can now see that it says basic vars instead of basic actor. And we can just change that however we please. So um, I'll give you uh, one quick, quick back look at the code. It's pretty simple. We An overview, we created two folders, classes and meshes. Meshes we're not using right now. Classes are where we're going to put all our scripts. If you put, uh, we created a script called basic actor. Remember that basic actor has to match the name of the class. These two cannot be different. And it extends the actor class, which is a base class inside of the UDK engine. And enable to place it inside of our viewport, we needed to put placeable here before the terminator. This doesn't have to come down a line, it can be on the same line. I just like to put it down a line because that's how the uh, how UDK formats their scripts. We created two variables, var int number and var string word. We assigned them property names so that when we open our properties box inside of the editor or whenever your modeler or uh, just artist goes to place down things, they have variables that they can change uh, that are public to them and uh, other variables you don't want them to see, you'll just leave out the parentheses and they'll be private to the programmers. And then down at the very bottom, we always have a default properties, though we don't have to always assign the variable name, uh, the variables to something inside of the default properties. So um, default properties are executed at the start, so it assigns everything. Uh, there's more stuff you could do with default properties, but we will get into that in later tutorials. So that is it for this uh, basic variable and uh, properties window and actor class for uh, UDK.